Hello everybody, I'm Coach Nikolai, and one of the number one questions that we get all the time is how and why do we chalk a kettlebell? So I'll start with the why. If you're like me and you sweat just basically by looking at exercise, then chalk will help absorb a lot of that sweat that gets on your, your palms and also drips down onto your kettlebell and it'll help absorb some of that sweat so your kettlebell doesn't come flying out of your hand, which has happened to me before. Or conversely, if you have uh, really grippy hands or your handle is really grippy, sometimes the chalk, if you do the right amount, uh, will provide just the right amount of slip. So it gives you either the right amount of slip or the right amount of grip if done correctly. Now, uh, as far as the how, I'm not a big fan of water chalking where you get your handle wet and then you chalk it. That makes the chalk stick easier, but it tends to clump and then get hard and can cause uh, actually more problems than what it's worth. So how I like to chalk the kettlebell is you need a nice smooth or a nice bare handle that's untreated so there's no varnish or paint or anything on this handle. Uh, some paints will hold chalk, but uh, I haven't found very many that actually do. So this is uh, just a nice bare handle. We actually finish our pro kettlebells so that they have just a slight amount of texture so they hold chalk really well. And then I take my block of chalk or the chalk dust, whichever you have, and I coat my hands like so. So it looks like I have cotton gloves on, all right? And then I just start going back and forth over that kettlebell, and I'll be rotating the kettlebell, and I'm applying a good amount of friction with my hands to get that to work. Now, I have a little bit of an advantage because I'm just naturally kind of greasy, I guess. I'm a little sweaty, and so the chalkers really wants to it wants to hold to the handle really well when I do it. And as you can see, just a couple of passes and I've got a pretty good fur coat going on here. For some of you, rub your hands together vigorously. You can get them kind of hot and they'll, you'll transfer some oils that way. Or you can even run your hands through your hair a little bit and get some of the oils from your hair and that'll help. But do as much or as little as you like. If I'm gonna have a really long, hard set, I'll go for quite a while until I can't see any more gray and I'll get that baby as white as morning snow. So that's how to chalk a kettlebell. I'm Coach Nikolai, bye.